The Gregory Portland Wildcats are off to a strong start, 2-0 after the first two weeks of the season. But in their game against the Cal Allen Wildcats in week one, there was a moment of concern on the field when a sophomore player left in an ambulance. He was hit by a defender and struggled to breathe after that play. And that's when they decided that he needed to go to the hospital. Our Brandon Schaub spoke with him about that moment and his road to recovery. I caught the ball, he hit me and I went down and I couldn't really breathe. Sophomore Ryder Harrison is in his second year with the varsity football team. He described the moment after he was hit by a defender in what felt like a routine play. But when he couldn't get his breath back, he knew something was wrong. I never really got it back, so they said, we need to go to the hospital. I walked to the ambulance, they put me in there, and then I went to the Portland uh, hospital immediately. Ryder said he did x-rays, a CAT scan, and had a tube inserted at the hospital. Doctors told him he got to the hospital just in time, since the collapsed lung could have been life-threatening. They said 30 minutes more and I probably wouldn't have made it. After about an hour and a half in a Portland hospital, he was transported to Driscoll Children's Hospital for further treatment. His brother Colton, a senior on the team, says his brother never lost his spirit. He'd be texting me from the hospital bed, and you know, during the game, he'd be watching it and tell my dad to tell me something at halftime or whatever. So it that made it a little bit easier knowing that he was at least good enough to be joking around still. GP head coach Brent Davis said players and coaches visited Ryder in the hospital and knew he would come out of it. He said this was the first time he saw something like Ryder's injury. Over 35 years, I've never seen anything where just a normal blow caused that, you know, but it, you know. It can happen. Ryder spent at least a week at Driscoll Children's Hospital. Last week he went home. This week he was back in class. Coach Davis says Ryder is a good kid, well liked and talented. Doctors told the brothers that Ryder should be ready to play again toward the end of the regular season. When he's 100%, he'll be 100%. And, uh, you know, when, when we get to that day, it'll be a good day. Doctors told Ryder recovery takes about two months for the average person. He said he had support from day one of his injury and knows that support will carry him through. I feel my whole team behind me, my family, the whole town, really. I've, get, I've been getting gifts in the hospital, and it's just reminding me that I got constant support from everyone. Ryder said his stitches will come out in a week, and then he'll start doing light workouts. He plans to start lifting again soon and eventually rejoin his brother on the field for their final season playing together. Brandon Schaff, 3 News. All right, Brandon.